Hello, my name is Elliot and you are watching Freelance Duck Hunting. This is season eight for me here on YouTube. I appreciate you being here with me today. I'm gonna start a three part series on hunting different types of water. We have been waterfowl hunting for over 30 years and we mainly focus on shallow water marshes, lakes, and rivers. So today is gonna to be the first of three videos where I'm gonna talk about shallow water marsh hunting and five tips or pieces of advice that I can give you on having a better time and being more effective on public land shallow water marshes. Before we get into that, this video is sponsored by the Duck Gun Podcast. It's a podcast with Jordan Fromer and myself everything waterfowl hunting if you haven't checked it out make sure to give it a listen you can catch it here on youtube or on any of your podcast outlets i'm gonna let you know at the end of this video how you can actually hunt with jordan and me so be ready at the end of this video to find out all about your opportunity to hunt with us so let's get right into this shallow water marshes five tips that can increase your enjoyment and your success at shallow water marshes. Number one, obvious, scout ahead of time. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean scout the day before the hunt. Know the marshes, know the complex. If you can't scout a lot during the week, then preseason, get out there, find what is the habitat, where are the food sources, so that if you have to go in and hunt blind, you already have an idea of where you wanna set up. If you do have the luxury of hunting during the week, get out there and do it. Find out where are the birds landing, what times are they using it, are they there the first thing in the morning, are they coming back around 10 o'clock? Get as much knowledge and information that you can about that area before you ever walk in to hunt it, and I promise you, you are gonna be more successful. All right, second piece of advice don't crowd in don't crowd others have a plan a b c d as many plans as you can get there early here i am i'm early and if you walk in and there's not enough room for you unfortunately what you need to do is just walk out back to our pool and there's two groups in here and we got nowhere to set up oh it's like we're walking out we've all had it happen when we're set up you get in there early you're nice and ready to hunt and here come some guys with a half an hour left. You see those headlights coming and they set up within 100 yards of you and wreck your whole day. Don't be that guy. I'm 100 yards here. If you set up there, that's no more than 100 yards from us. You're going to be spraying us. Do not crowd into others. Now, I will give you this advice about people crowding in. If you see a headlight coming towards you, get out to them as quick as you can. You've got to go and talk to them before they start unpacking their decoys. Because once they start unpacking their decoys, they are not going to move from my experience. But if you can get to them before they pack the decoys, be friendly from the get-go. I apologize. I know there's no way you guys could have known exactly that we were in here. I know that really sucks. Talk to them. Where are you guys setting up? Here's where we are. Give them some advice. Why don't you guys set up over there or come join us or get and talk to them in a friendly way to try to avoid those confrontations because we know if you're set up too close to other people in the marsh, it can absolutely destroy your entire day. Thank you. Yeah, good luck to you. I feel for them. That sucks. Yeah. Number three, before you go out hunting, think through how you're going to get hidden. In a lot of these shallow water marshes, you've got to get out there and there's not a lot of cover. Now, some of you are lucky and you've got a lot of timber in your marshes, and some of you are not going to have that luxury. And let me tell you, sitting on a bucket out in the middle of a marsh, not fully concealed, is a good way to not only ruin your hunt, cripple more birds, and ruin the hunt of other people. Because if you have a marsh and ducks come in there and they're circling around and they see you, they're gone. So have an idea of how you're going to hide before you enter that marsh and think about how you're gonna do it and then double or triple the amount of cover you think you're gonna need because to shoot mallards in close, in your face, you need a lot of cover. They just came right over top of us, so gotta lay out. So make sure that you pre-plan it, whether it's an A-frame or a kayak, which I'm gonna get into, or a boat blind, depending on the marsh, but you need a good way to hide. That brings me to my next point, number four. A kayak is one of the cheapest simplest and best tools for marsh hunting. Whether you're laying out in it, which I tend to do sometimes, or just using it to transport or a place for your dog to be, a kayak is a duck hunter's best friend a lot of times when it comes to a marsh. 
They're not that expensive. You can find blinds to put on them. And once you are hidden and laying out in a kayak or a layout boat, you absolutely disappear. And let me tie one more thing back into that. The number of guys you take into a marsh is gonna make a big difference at how well you do. Every person you add to your hunting party makes it that much more difficult to get mallards in your face. With one person, you can absolutely disappear. Two, not bad, you can hide that too. Three, it's getting a little bit harder. When you get to four, five, six, seven, it becomes that much harder to get everybody hidden. So if you really wanna shoot mallards in your face and get them right down in the pocket, the fewer the people, the better off that you're going to do, the more success that you're gonna have. And I believe the enjoyment factor is going to go through the roof when you hunt that way as well. Last one I've got, shot selection. Now, there's when you're hunting public land marshes, there's just gonna be some people around you. If everyone would be a little more careful with their shot selection, everyone in the marsh is gonna shoot more birds. Because when you have one group that are gonna shoot birds at 55, 60, 70, 75 yards, it can ruin it for everyone. Those birds will come into a marsh, they're circling, they're looking, they're wondering where they wanna be. Just wait, wait and be patient. Everyone is gonna benefit. If you don't have the best spot, chances are the guys that do are gonna shoot their limit and you can go move to it. But if you're gonna blast at everything at 45 yards and out, everyone is in the marsh is gonna suffer. And not only that, you're gonna wound more birds, you're gonna spend more money on ammunition. So get them down, get them close inside of 40. When you put your spin around, you put your decoys out, bring a rangefinder, or you can even step off your yards and understand this is how far my decoys or my spinner is. This is about my shooting range and stay inside of that range. So there you go. Those are the five condensed tips that I've got, the things that I know improve my success and my enjoyment that I've learned over the last 30 years. Let me know what you think about these. Drop them in the comments, we'll talk about it. And don't forget, I've got two more coming up. I'm gonna do another video on lake hunting and also river hunting. So now, on to the Duck Gun Podcast and how you can come hunt with Jordan Fromer and myself. Well, Jordan and I over on Patreon, patreon.com slash freelance duck hunting. If you go over there and you join and become a member, you are automatically entered into the hunt giveaway. And in August, we're gonna have a live stream and we're gonna pick one name at random and whoever wins is going to get to come and hunt with Jordan and myself. We're gonna load up into Jordan's awesome duck bus. If you have not seen that, it's freaking sweet. Me, you, Jordan, Chief, and we are going to go on a bunch of hunts together. We're gonna film it. It's gonna be freaking awesome. So take this link, go over to Patreon. I've got a video over there with more information and details for you, and I want you to check that out. If that's something you wanna do, join it, and hopefully you can come join Jordan and I on the second annual hunt giveaway so thank you so much guys take that link be looking for these other videos to come out and i'll see you on the next one now it's a quarter to the clock strikes and hopefully the shock might hit you like a rock fighter like the butcher block might quit